Hey guys, welcome back to Tactical Expedition. Today I want to show you all the Taikan accessories you should get. Beautiful town. Okay, so very first accessory I recommend is the PPF. So PPF stands for pain protection film. Some people get it on the entire body of the car because it was so expensive and it was unnecessary to get the full wrap. I got it only from the front. So I got the front bumper, the hood, the headlight, side mirrors. So these are PPF filmed and rest is not. The whole purpose of the PPF film was to uh, eliminate the rock chips that I get often. It was so low to the ground that a lot of the rock chips are happening on this car. So right now it has it on the headlights, front bumper, the hood, the side fenders, and the uh, side mirrors. So right here you can see the lines. There's a film around the headlights. So you can see film around the front bumper. Very nice cuts. But around the edges, it gets dirty a little bit. So you can wipe them down. The reason why I got the PPF film is because these are rock chips uh, day one before I got the film. So I immediately uh, made a reservation or appointment with the PPF film installer and got it done. Chips are under the film. Now I can protect the entire car with a PPF film. Second accessory you should get is the Porsche colored uh, wheel caps. These are 21 inch RS spider wheels for my Porsche Taycan, but it came with a black and white uh, monogram crest and it looked very mundane and boring. My advisor from Porsche hooked it up and gave me those accessories for free but I believe you can buy them at Suncoast or any accessories. It just has a beautiful contrast between the wheels and the car. It looks very, very nice. So that's uh, cheap accessories you can get. And unlike Rolls Royce, you know, this thing actually spins around. It doesn't have the weighted uh, center caps. So third accessory I recommend is the rear spoiler. But mine is from TechArt. It's a carbon fiber gloss. Very nice looking. This carbon fiber shine and the pattern is incredible. So design has these two pop-outs in the side and the middle is flat. So it's incredible uh, design. And TechArt makes it, but other brands make it too. But I think that TechArt is one of the top brands for spoilers and the Taycan accessories. So Check them out, it's incredible, looks beautiful. Another accessory I recommend is the digital license plate from Reviver. It's called the R-Plate. It's beautiful looking. You can put any words there that DMV approves and it automatically updates the registration once you pay through the app. And you can do the black background with a white lettering or you can do like a regular license plate with a white background with a black lettering. Just get it through their sale and you can get it at a decent price. I got it through the Christmas sale about a year and a half ago. So it's very, very nice looking and it's different and it's pretty bright during the day. Next accessory is a steering wheel indicator. Whatever color you want or you can match the neodymium color over here or you can do the, the space gray Whatever you want, I did the carbon fiber look, like my uh, spoiler. 
and it's on like it's from the factory and it, it wraps around it's just a 3m tape um, so i'll put some link on it i used to have red one as you can see on my old video but i switched it to the carbon fiber look it's more subtle so uh, it's very very beautiful interior this is what i get to see every day uh, you know i'm lucky because i get to drive this yeah i mean this is the best car i ever driven you just have to cut it in size and just apply it look at this next is the screen protector film so there there and there so if i go up close you can see there's a film cut in perfect size applied to this glass it's very easy to clean also uh, and no fingerprint or barely any look at that so this is the company screen protect and they give you this microfiber towel so you just have to wipe this down like once in a while and becomes clear again look at this you know how bad fingerprints get here right look it doesn't really apply the fingerprint it's hard to see it so you just have to wipe it down like this and it's gone very nice cutout it's almost perfect cuts and here very easy to clean a perfect cutout on the bottom right here the touch is perfect and this is what i recommend to anyone because you just have to wipe it down like this and all the dust is gone it's that simple like that like this you can protect here 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 and maybe there next is the windshield cover it's a sunshade but it's a shape of umbrella and it comes with a carrying case so easy just have to do that this flap is on the top okay so just open it up it fits perfectly to force size just like that on the top with the rear view mirror and you just have to apply the velcro and look at this and you can adjust a little bit but it protects from the sun you don't even have to bring this down because it has already a support from these umbrella spines so i use this very very often and it's one of the best accessory for Taycan. it's amazing it's very very quick and after you're done see i'll show you how quick it is you don't even have to you know manipulate the sunshade up here okay so here take it down an umbrella and that's it it takes away the glare it takes away the heat it's much cooler in here and when you're done take it down unfold this and that's it so this umbrella sunshade tucks away right here perfectly and so it does move around and it's there and when, when i need it i just take it out and use it so it gets stored right there for me next is the cell phone mount and the charger from esr this is a 15 watt this is an ultra fast charging with the adapter that i mounted like that so it's a double-sided tape from esr and this one is a separate mount system that I got from somewhere else. I'll put the link on the bottom, on the description. And this is the ESR charger that sits like that. And when the phone is there, it's just perfect. So I can utilize the navigation here with the CarPlay while I can you know, listen to Spotify or control another navigation to see if there's any difference. There's no shake. This magnet is super powerful from ESR. So what's special about this ESR car charging mount is that this is called a cryo boost, which is there's the cooling fan inside that is virtually silent and it reduces the temperature. So charges a lot faster too. And the phone doesn't overheat. Problem with the charging inside the car is it gets hot. So charging creates heat and also the windshield creates heat during the summer. But this one eliminates that problem and this is super fast charging. Another accessory that I recommend that I should have got long ago is the seat gap eliminator adapter with the phone or wallet storage area. The reason why there's a little divot is because I have my wallet on back of my pocket and see it gets pressed like this. So look at the divot. <laughs> Currently what I do is 
when I get into the car, I just put it like that and I sit down. If I drop something here, it doesn't go down and uh, I can put phone or wallet there. It's very visible, so you're not gonna forget your wallet. It's very convenient because uh, through the crack, I've dropped so many things down there and it has a perfect cutout for the seatbelt like that. So without it, you can take this out very easily and it's a hard foam. Look at the space. So anything can be dropped down there by accident. See there, there's something there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so this can eliminate that very easy to apply. Put it through the seatbelt and put it into the gap. And this is it. It's just perfect. The wallet goes there. Next is the front and rear CCTV. Look at that right there. So I've been using this company for a while. Ever since I had the Forerunner. This is called VFO A119. Cord is long enough. So I hit it around this way, this way, this way. It goes down and it goes all the way to here. And it's basically recording everything when the car is on. You can hardwire this to the battery and if there's any motion, you can make it activate. But I didn't want to drain the battery of the Taycan. And rear, it looks like that. I used a USB long cord. So it goes into the trunk area. And this is how it gets powered on. Right there. So there's a cigarette adapter in the trunk so i wired it that way and it goes into the back of the seat so it powers the rear cctv camera next is the front organizer that's how you open the front trunk look at that so i installed this device from amazon very easy to install you can install it anywhere where there's carpet material and it's it's on uh, very very tight and see, see, I carry 110 plug adapter for Porsche and other devices here. It's, a, it's very, very useful instead of grabbing something from the bottom. Very convenient and very cheap option. Next is the trunk organizer. Let me show you. Pop this open. So this is the same thing that is on the trunk, but I put it on the trunk too. Um, it comes in two packs, so you can put whatever there. Like say you have a microfiber towel that you, you want to get it fast, just like that. So I mean, it's not going to go anywhere and you can grab it fast. Next, it's a trunk storage organizer. It's a cargo net. It fits Tycon perfectly. So there is a metal hooks you can attach this net to and over here. There's four areas to attach, so it's perfect. So let's say you have some storage in the trunk. You can put all of it underneath the net like this. So it's not gonna tumble around inside the trunk when you drive your Taycan. Very convenient, uh, very cheap. So I'll put the link on the description. So next is when I ordered my Taycan, I didn't know there was a storage option. And I'm sure it was extra fee. So this area is just empty. Look at this. What a useless space. And underneath, there's a vent down here. This computer system. So you cannot completely block the area. But I mean, this becomes useless. When you order the storage option from Porsche for like two, three hundred dollars, there's a little attachment on the side. So you can put those things in here. So I found this leather tray from Amazon that has the same dimension as down the empty space down there. So it's a perfect fit. Let me show you. I made a separate video about this, this perfect fit. So it's a perfect accessory uh, for Taycan if you don't have a storage option from the factory. Uh, you can't really see it when you're driving. So I have a sunglasses in the front so I can just feel it around and grab it. Or I can grab a pen here, a flashlight, or you know whatever you want to throw in like microfiber towels uh, purell down there it can fit a lot like a coin purse for the the meters my wife's uh, hand lotion so i highly recommend this next is the genuine porsche all weather floor mat it is amazing look how dirty it is and once i wipe it with the windex and microfiber towel it will become 
like new again. That's the rear area. So this nobody rides here, so it's fairly clean. Very easy to take it out and then clean it. See, you just have to do that. Okay, you can protect the carpet area. You can vacuum it and put this down there. It has a little groove for the down air conditioning for the rear passengers. And then this just has a perfect fit and perfect everything. So I cleaned it and it came nice again. This is a genuine product. I really, really recommend this one. If you don't get anything, get the all weather uh, floor mats. Another option I recommend is the, the neck pillow. This is not for Porsche. I bought it aftermarket. You can still see the Porsche crest here. Look at this. And it goes on like that. When you sit down, head touches here and your back touches here, but your neck area is just floating. So it's very uncomfortable. So I know a lot of people get the neck pillow that has a like a ball shape or looks like an actual pillow, but self is very, very comfortable. I try to get the beige color that matches this, but they don't sell it. Uh, a lot of the beige aftermarket parts are just completely different color. So I just went with the black because my interior is black and beige anyways. But this neck pillow, I recommend it on a long drive. You can like lay back, have your neck comfortable. It contours perfectly to people's necks. So it is very nice. Another option that I got is the trunk light. So when you open the trunk, inside the trunk, can you even see inside? Very dim bulbs. I think they did it to save energy because this is an electric car. It's a LED bar light that you can attach it as a magnetic or Velcro. Look, it's super bright and it's a motion sensor. So it's still dark, but when you put your hands in there, see this got activated. Now you can see everything. It's super nice. It lasts a long time because uh, you can recharge it through uh, USB-C right here on the side and there, there's different modes it turns on maybe 20 25 seconds and it turns off automatically i can plug it in here so i never have to take it out and recharge but i haven't done that yet battery lasts super long time it is this device and works well i highly recommend getting that rear trunk led light so next accessory is the glass roof screen that I bought but right now it's during the winter and it's fairly cold and not too much sunlight is coming down so I removed it so I can get some view but uh, during the spring summer fall I'll put it back on and it looks like this it comes with a storage bag it's nice you can twist it and keep it at this kind of a flat space reducing size but you can open it up and it becomes like that big it's for Taycan and it comes with a clip so you can clip this in i'll attach the video that i made before so we're gonna install this panoramic sunshade okay so i'm gonna grab these hardware total there's uh, 12 clips in here so there's the sun so you can slightly look outside but inside it's really cool no heat coming through that this is one piece design that's why it's nice like you won't even notice it so it's completely blocked you can still see slightly outside maybe 10 percent so this is one of the nice option to have it's not that expensive so i highly recommend this so next is a tire inflator this is an emergency tire inflator it's so small and it can uh, inflate all four tires so all you have to do is unscrew here and just attach it to the, the tire valve screw that in okay that's it just make it tight so turn it on right now it's reading at 33 psi that's where i wanted to set it up but if you want to do a little bit higher uh, psi is too high so lower it to 33.5 maybe and I'll just show you, 33.5, and push power. So it will inflate and it will automatically shut off when it reaches your designated uh, PSI. Very convenient for emergency use. Yeah, I carried this in the trunk 
and it saved me so many bad situations because uh, if there's a nail you can still inflate the tire and go to local tire uh, repair places so uh, please get this accessory that i carry it's a digital breathalyzer if i just have like a wine during dinner alcohol limit is 0 0.08 so this is my indicator to see if i just want to leave my car and take a uber home i never drive if it's showing 0 0.02 and above limit is 0 0.08 and i don't drive after 0 0.02 0.02 even if cops check you and make you blow onto the pass machine or a breathalyzer they're gonna let you go because it's way under the limit but if it's like 0 0.06 0 0.07 reaching up there and you're driving unsafe they're gonna arrest you i keep it safe and i just uh, take it to 0 0.02 anyways that's the mouthpiece you put it in here so after each use i uh, just wipe it down that's it you attach it, hit start, it counts down, and now you just blow until this beeps. Okay, so it goes beep beep, double beep, so you just stop. Right now, I mean obviously I didn't drink anything, but it will show you over here. 0 0.08 is illegal in California. I stop at 0 0.02, but anyways, regardless, don't drink and drive, don't crash, have some kind of a backup like this. I always carry this anywhere I go and I sometimes uh, make my friends uh, check the, their BAC before they drive. Uh, we're all adults, you gotta make smart decisions. This is not too expensive, so here you go. There's different brands, I carry this because it's fairly accurate. So last accessory you should get is charging adapter. It's a Tesla to J1772 adapter. So that's cool. It supports up to 240 amps. I have a Tesla Y also. So I, I utilize this. So grab the Tesla charger. Okay, plug this in. That's it. Now let's plug this. It's a green. So I can utilize Tesla charger at home and it charges rate of about six to seven kilowatts and this is 240 and it's charging at this point so you don't have to get the j1772 charger but you can just get a tesla mobile charger and just utilize on your tycon but just make sure you guys get the hubbell receptacle uh, when you're doing the 240 okay so when you're done press that button everything lights up push the button and take it out that's it i have this <laughs> little accessory so i plug that in and i unplug um, this and I'll put it back to the tesla area so my wife can charge but what i'm saying is please please get this habel nema 1450 habel industrial grade charging area like that it's not just the one but this utilizes two so you have to get this or your charger can melt with this much heat and this much amperage it's coming in at 50 amps up to 50 amps and 240 50 volts i know a lot of people cheap out and they buy these cheap like 20 dollar 30 dollar um, nema 1450 plugs but this is like almost 100 bucks and this is recommended by both tesla and porsche hopefully you like my recommendation for tycon accessories uh, thank you for viewing my video please subscribe if you haven't done so and see you on the next one.